Genre. Folktale. Essential questions. Why is it important to be kind and accepting of others? In what ways do teams benefit from diversity? A Cherokee stickball game, based on a Cherokee folktale, retold by Tricia Carpenter, illustrated by Will Sweeney. The hero of the stickball game between the animals and the birds would be known throughout the land as a famous warrior. Little Mouse always wanted to be a hero, but he was tiny. Most creatures never noticed him at all. Little Mouse scurried to the animal camp. As he watched the animals practice, Big Bear stepped up to him and bellowed, what are you doing here? I want to play in the big game, squeaked Little Mouse. Big Bear roared with laughter. What could you ever do for us? Big Bear asked. Little Mouse slumped as he walked away with his head hung down. Little Mouse was disappointed. He knew he could play well if he were only given a chance. Then, off in the distance, he heard drum beats. Rat tat tat tat, rat tat tat tat. That meant the birds were preparing for the big game. Maybe they would accept him. He followed the drum beats. As he got closer, the beats got louder. Rat tat tat tat, rat tat tat tat. Pretty Feathered Eagle was circling high above the camp, watching each of his players. Suddenly, he spied Little Mouse and swooped down. Greetings, Little Mouse. What are you doing so far away from home? I want to play stickball, but the animals won't let me join their team. I know I could be helpful if only I were allowed to play. Please, sir, may I play on your team? Little Mouse asked humbly. Pretty Feathered Eagle said, I wish I could help you, but you don't have wings. It is against the rules for you to play on our team. Little Mouse turned away sadly. Pretty Feathered Eagle looked with pity upon Little Mouse. Then a twinkle appeared in his eye. Wait, he said. We should never look down on someone because of his or her size, looks, or skin color. Instead, we should welcome everyone. He took the leather cover off a drum and cut wings from it. Then he attached them to Little Mouse. You will no longer be called Little Mouse, but Flying Bat. With your new wings, you are now part of our team. Both teams gathered at the field. The ball was tossed in the air. Flying Bat quickly snatched the ball away from Big Bear. Big Bear was furious. Flying Bat's new wings helped him dart out of the way of all the animals. He flew between the goalposts with the ball. Score! The animals began fighting among themselves. They could not work together. In contrast, the birds and Flying Bat came together as a team and won. Afterward, Pretty Feathered Eagle said, Thank you, Flying Bat. We would not have won without you. Every bird played a part. Flying Bat smiled widely. No, thank you for letting me play. Then Flying Bat realized he needed a new place to live now that he had wings. He went off and found himself a dark cave. And that's where he's lived until this very day.